everyone. Uh, so what am I doing today? So this week has been incredibly busy. I have had so many appointments. Today is my only day that I don't have to go anywhere. My, my dog. Hey, hey, you were just fed. You were just fed. You don't need anything else. No, you don't. Do you guys, for those of you that watched my vlogmas last year, do you remember how my dogs would stare at me every morning until I gave them their B-O-N-E, and I'm not going to say it because then I'm going to have them staring at me again, even though they've already gotten it today. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what she wants because I just fed her. She's sometimes just whiny. Uh, but anyway, I've had a super busy week, and I am looking forward to just staying home today. I don't have anywhere to go today, and this is the first time uh, this and the only day this week that I don't actually have to go anywhere. We, this has just been a week of lots of different appointments and obligations and like it's just it's gonna be nice to just stay home and get some stuff done at home and Lily and I went yesterday we were gone all day for her allergy appointment and, and then we went to my nearest um, yarn store so I'm gonna put some I'm gonna put that clip in probably uh, next, maybe after I'm done talking here, just so you guys can kind of see that. It's a really cute town, it's in Oakmont, PA. And we went to the yarn store, we went to a health food store because I wanted to see if they had healthy <laughs> uh, candy canes. And by that, I mean candy canes that aren't made with like corn syrup and dyes and all that, which they did, they had. They had them, so I bought a box of those, and I'll put those on the tree today. That's just something I've done every year, just a little, a small little tradition. And then we went to a couple other small, uh, small shops, which I'll, I'll just include all the footage. Uh, I bought a couple of things, which I'll share with you guys later. I'm actually hoping to get a couple packages in the mail today. I did not do any advent calendars, which I've never bought an advent yarn calendar. But I have almost every year at least done a swap, and I just completely dropped the ball on trying to find somebody to swap with. So I ended up treating myself to a skein of Christmas yarn and a Christmas bag, which I think both of them are actually supposed to arrive today. So if they do, I'll share those later. And I'll share the little treasures I picked up when we were in Oakmont yesterday. So anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get to it. It's mostly gonna be housework today, laundry, um, cleaning bathrooms, you know, all that, <laughs> all that fun stuff we do as homemakers. Uh, but actually it feel, it's going to feel really good just to be able to be at home and just focus on getting stuff done around here today. <music>
windy. But I had some stuff to do outside here to bring the compost out and do some other, put some stuff away. Um, and I just want to show you the garden. It's, let me, the garden has gone to bed for the winter. <laughs> it's so funny to think that just like, you know, a month and a half ago, these were full of green growth. That always blows my mind how green it is here in the summer and then how brown it is in the winter. in the afternoon and I just went out and got the mail so I wanted to show you what I have here um, so let me show you what I got yesterday at the shops in Oakmont let's start with the uh, let's start with something non yarn related because and then everything else is knitting related but um, I got these really beautiful candle sticks or candles so I think that they're so pretty. And I won't burn these. <laughs> I will just put them in my candlesticks and display them and then I will wrap them up for next year. Um, I have candlesticks. I typically will, I burn lots of candles this time of year. And when I burn candlesticks, they're usually cheaper ones that they're definitely not beautiful ones like this um so i'm gonna just save these for like decoration but i thought they were so pretty so i got that i got these candles at a shop that i had never been to before in oakmont it was it's called the good home of oakmont it is super cute i included footage earlier from there so um yeah, so one of the shops that you'll see, you will have seen already, was where I got those, purchased those candles. So then I, the main reason that Lily and I went to Oakmont yesterday was so that I could pick up some yarn for a hat I'm making for someone. And um, I found it. I actually went looking for Melabrigo Rios in the Pearl 10 colorway. They didn't have it, but then that ended up being fine because... I did not realize how purple that color is. So I'm knitting this hat 
for um, my son and daughter's friend, Adrian. And um, it was it was just really, really purple. <laughs> so, because they had it in a different, I think they had it in a different like base that Malabrigo offers. They had the Pearl 10. So there were some other options there and I ended up getting Madeline Tosh. This is Vintage DK. And this is a really beautiful skein um, called Whiskey Barrel. It has blacks, grays, browns, and blues. So it pretty much is completely neutral and could go with any kind of outfit or <laughs> winter coat that Adrian would decide to wear. So that was exciting to find that. And then of course, I went in telling myself I'm only buying yarn for Adrian's hat, but that did not happen. Uh, I got some really beautiful yarn. that I have never seen before. And this is Schopel edition three. And it is, oh, look at that, how pretty. So, okay, I have a plan. I actually bought these with a plan in mind. I love this one. This was my favorite. They had, um, I think they may have had a hat knit up in this. Actually, it was probably this plus some other colors they had. Again, I think I included some footage from that, but they had multiple colorways. So what I'm going to do with this is make uh, Andrea Mowry's shift cowl, but I'm going to make a small one because this is only 50 grams. So it's only 150 meters per ball. So that's not a lot of yardage and the shift cowl definitely calls for more of that. But I thought I've made that pattern before using my friend Jody from Flower Hill Fleeces. I used her um, farm yarn and I knit that as a sample for her. And so it made a rather large one because it was made out of, um, the yarn was like heavier. And I don't even honestly know what that pattern calls for. I think it calls for worsted. I don't remember, but I just thought this would be, and honestly, I have, I have some hand spun I could add in, but I just love these colors together. So I don't think I'm going to, I think I'll just make the pattern smaller so that I will have just use these three balls. So 150 grams and that is what the plan is. And let me show you, um, that is all that I got at yarns by design. And then I did though. So I ordered a skein of yarn and it came today. And I was thinking it would be like for winter Christmas socks, but it's honestly not speaking Christmas to me at all. So I don't know that I'm going to actually knit this right now. Um, it's it, for me, it feels more fall like, but maybe not because, okay, let me show you, let me show you what it is. So it's, um, opal, it's an opal yarn. And here's the info on the color. So it basically has like oranges, browns, greens, some off white and some very light grayish blue in it. And if I show you this little sock, that is what it looks like knitted up. I love that I can see what it looks like knitted up. So when I was looking at this online, I thought, hmm, that looks Christmassy to me. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe I will knit a pair of Christmas socks using that yarn. But now that I'm looking at it, I'm not thinking that this is looking very Christmassy. So I think I'm going to save it. I mean, it could go winter because you know, the green of the pine trees and the browns of the bark on the trees and then the, the grayish blue for the gray skies and then the off white for the snow. I could definitely make these as a pair of Christmas, I mean, winter socks. But I don't think I'm going to cast these on like I was planning on today. And that's okay because I actually have, I think, two skeins of Christmas socks, Christmas sock yarn that I bought last year that I never cast it on. But when I, okay, so let me see if I can grab that. This is my, this is my sock yarn stash. 
I just have it in one of these old buckets or baskets with the handle. Egg baskets. I don't even know where I got this. But so let me show you. And actually looking now, I know which ones I'm going to cast on. So I have. Oh my goodness, I have actually three different Christmas yarns. See, I put it in, I put it all in here and then I forgot about it. So I have um, from Tiny Human Knits, I have Christmas Classics, which this is what I'm going to cast on. I knew as soon as I looked. This is a self-striping yarn. I got this in her second uh, sale last year at some point, and it's already split up into 200 200 yards each, so 250 gram skeins. But look how pretty. That's definitely what I'm going to cast on. I'm going to cast that on today. But then I, so these were the ones I was thinking about. I actually completely forgot about the yarn from Tiny Human Knits. Um, but this one, I, these two are actually both from Ashley of Old Wire Road Fiber Co., which she does no longer, she no longer dyes yarn. But she did last year at Christmas, and this is A Merry Little Christmas. So this is stunningly beautiful, isn't it? And then this one is Whoville, which I love. Uh, the original Grinch cartoon is actually one of my favorite. It's my favorite uh, Christmas cartoon. Well, I have several, but that one and Charlie Brown Christmas and... Um, Rudolph and Frosty like the original ones from when I was a kid and I don't even know they're even older than that Those are my favorites, but yeah, this one is is Whoville. So look at all the colors in that So I actually have quite a bit of Christmas yarn. I didn't even realize it um, ooh. Okay, so then let me show you <laughs> So I thought you know what I'm just gonna treat myself to a little something special because you know it I Thought it would be fun to open something up since I'm not doing I didn't do an advent swat swap so Olivia of this handmade life posted a shop update she just actually I think she just put some uh, Christmas bags in her shop earlier this week so I got on and I bought this one and I I love this I so sometimes I look at things and I think oh I, I really like that but I don't need it but then I looked at this and I saw the gingerbread houses in the little like snow globe type things and I thought that is so so adorable and I have multiple bags of Olivia's and she does an amazing job they're all you know this one has the what is that box pleated bottom I think that's called which I like that um so yes have a look at that I love her bags the majority of the bags I've ever purchased project bags I've purchased from Olivia so this will be what I will be knitting and I'll, my, my Christmas socks and I'll be storing them in my brand new bag from Olivia. And um, yeah, so that was fun. And I, and I guess, why did I even think about, <laughs> why did I buy this? I mean, I love it. I really like that. I'll just make it, I'll make it some other time. I'll make it in the winter. So I just feel kind of off today. It's weird because um it's my first day home here let me put my yarn back okay there have that in its place so it's my first day home all day for over well over a week i don't even remember and we had so we had thanksgiving and then we hosted some out-of-state guests and um we we did a lot of things i talked or I let my husband and daughter talk me into go about to go. I let my daughter and husband talk me into going Black Friday shopping. Now, granted, we didn't even leave our house until like two o'clock in the afternoon, so I figured it would be pretty much dead, but it wasn't. It was really busy, and that's just not my scene. I am not a big shopper unless it's thrifting or, of course, yarn, going into yarn shops. Um, I like certain stores like here in America we have TJ Maxx I like that store things are constantly changing so you know you're always seeing new things but the majority of my shopping I do thrifting and um and I'm not a like humongous fan 
no, I'm definitely not a fan of at all of like shopping malls. I don't like sh I find shopping malls depressing. <laughs> and I don't I don't like going shopping when there are a ton of people shopping at the same time as me. So I was way overstimulated on that day. And then Saturday we went somewhere that was very, very busy, not shopping, something totally different. And then Sunday we had a party here um, for actually Adrian who turned 21 and he was back visiting from Colorado. Him, him and his, actually his whole family were back. And so I had a party for him and, um, yeah, and then I've just been running, running, running. So today I feel so weird because I was thinking this is going to be fantastic. I'll be home all day. I don't have anywhere to go. But <laughs> I don't know. I'm getting stuff done. I'm just feel Well, you know what it probably is, is I've been trying to do some online Christmas shopping. And it's I'm the type of person that I love to give gifts if I know somebody really wants something or if they need something. I love giving gifts, but it's, I find it really hard just to buy for the sake of buying. Like, so it's really, really hard for me to do that. And I think I said before, maybe I didn't, maybe I was talking to a friend when I mentioned this, but I'm not gift knitting for Christmas this year. I don't really do a whole lot of gift knitting. Well, that's not true because I am gift knitting this. I am gift knitting something for somebody very close to me, but I don't want to say it right now just in case they watch. Um, but as a, on a whole, I am not a gift knitter. I, I this is going to sound so mean, but you have got to have earned the status of, uh, being knit worthy <laughs> for me to give you something knitted. Um, because when I have time to knit, I want to be intentional about it. So I am not one of those knitters who will just knit something, a bunch of hats or a bunch of gloves or socks for uh, everyone they know, because I'm just like, well, are they going to appreciate it? Are they going to take care of it? And I, that might be horrible of me, but that's just the way I am. And I had an experience once where I made something for someone and then it just, it was very, to me, heartbreaking what came of that handmade object. So that's when I learned my lesson. And that was actually years ago. So now I've just been really particular about all of that. So I don't even really know why I said that other than, oh, I know I was trying to do some online shopping today and it just was stressing me out because I'm trying to think, okay, what would this person like? What would that person like? What's going to bring joy into their lives, but not junk up their life? Because I'm also one, I don't buy stuff unless it's really beautiful. I need it. Or it's going to bring like some sort of like great quality to my life. I don't like to just buy like, I mean, obviously I decorate my house and stuff like that. So I'm not saying that I'm a minimalist. I am not a minimalist at all, but I always put a lot of thought into the things I bring into my home. So when I'm buying gifts for somebody else, I, I have my first instinct is to do that as well because I don't want to just give them something that's going to just junk up their house or get thrown in a closet and then eventually donate it. Like I want to be mindful of it. So I'm, I think that's why I'm feeling the way I am today because I sat in front of the computer for probably an hour and a half trying to look for gifts for one particular person in my family. <laughs> And yeah, so I'm sure there are other people out there that have the same exact problem as me. But hey, anyway, I don't want to make Christmas all about gifts, right? I don't want to do that because for our family, at least it's not that. Um, so I just need to refocus, refocus. So that's why I was like, I'm stepping away. I'm shutting this laptop. I am walking away from it. I'm going to go out to the mailbox and get my stuff and do a little, talk a little bit on the podcast and start dinner. So that's what I'm going off to do actually. So I'm going to go ahead and end this right now um, so I can go make dinner for my family. <laughs>